Welcome to the Pagan Playground Random Book Review! And this I am finally glad to get my teeth into and enjoy. I'm now going through his books, Book of Shadows, and this is a must for anybody remotely interested in this subject whatsoever. And of course it is Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham, one of my favorite authors on this subject. And again, thank you Sierra for this. And I, I love the feeling of this book. I don't know how the hell I did it, but it's very... I don't know. It's, it doesn't feel like a book. There's something soft and squishy about it. I don't know. <laughs> Just, it's very tactilely and pleasing. It's a pleasing book to, to touch. And I love this book. I love this author. To me, Scott Cunningham is like somebody you would just... One of those people that you could just get along with. You feel like you're at a barbecue just talking, relaxed. It's a very relaxed book. He doesn't talk down to you. He's like... It's like having a conversation with a friend. You, you feel... He's, it's... <sighs> It's very comfortable, very welcoming, very just, it's like reading a friend, I don't know. <laughs> I really love, love this guy and on YouTube, uh, he has, somebody uploaded, I'm glad they did, something to do about herbs. I can't remember what precisely the title is and you just get a feel for his personality. He's just a very normal guy just you feel like you could relate to this man and it comes across in his books and this again gives you an overview of what Wicca is what his particular little niche of the world is uh, and he and again it's for the solitary practitioner where he doesn't go into like coven base it's for the unique individual and he goes and especially with the Book of Shadows, where it's your correspondences, um, different ways you can celebrate the Sabbaths and the Esbits, recipes for incense, and he goes, and, and it's written too, it's really funny because the first part of the book where it explains about the religion, the faith, the practice, the wickedness, in a very, again, common, relatable way, and then he writes his Book of Shadows in a very archaic language, which is really kind of cool, so you realize there's like an artist in the, in the man too and he goes you know there is no like set bible like with the the bible it's like chiseled in stone this is what it is which is why i question all of the bible because it's like okay the methodists have their version the catholics have their version it's like every facet of christianity has their version of the bible then you got the jewish people then you got the Koran all claiming it's all the truth, even though it's, some of them are so different from each other. There's a book of the dragon in the Catholic Bible. So it's like, well, if you're all claiming to be the truth, none of it can be the truth. You know, there might be common nuggets, you know, that every, it all kind of sprung from. But with this, it's like there isn't any core, you know, book of shadows that is everybody must, you know, follow. You build your own. And he specifically states, I, I've got a book of shadows at the end of the book, but I strongly suggest you alter it to you. Don't don't think what I wrote is the law. And I really respect him for that, that he promotes individualism, if that makes sense. So, you know, I loved that about this book. And I swear there is a buttload of awesome. And, <laughs> and uh, as I'm reading, on in let's see I'm not quite sure where it starts uh, and now I can't find one of those pages where are you on um, the first the first oh breathing okay when it talks about air when it's you know with just breathing mentioning air it starts with a very pale print like somehow the ink didn't quite stick to the page and I just found it funny because it's like very airy on the and then you know, like every other page it's like printed weird so I just find it funny, like the first page that it started doing that was under like air and breathing because it's a very light kind of thing. But then, welcome to my brain. So, 
and of course he gives you, you know, suggestions on like how to set up an altar, what the different tools are for, how to create circle. And for me, I started when I create circle, I started imagining imagining visualizing a a bubble. Like blowing a bubble. That worked for a while, but now I, I visualize a tree. And it's in the same spot in the same way. And I can even hear like the roots growing around me, so the I'm the tree kind of grows around me, and that's sort of my sp sphere. <laughs> Is that crazy? I don't know, but works for me. So he goes into like everything, uh, different symbols, ritual design, how to place different things. So yes, if if you're just starting in your practice, or if you want to. Even just have a, like a nice quickie book to kind of refer to things. Like, if I want a correspondence, the first person I go to is kind of him. <laughs> so, um, there was a thought here, and I forgot what it was. Uh, and it's it's very easy to follow. You know, it's sim. It's not simplistic, but it's simple. Uh, so yes, I I love this book. And it goes, explore the sacred solitary path with Wicca, the, the, a guide for the solitary practitioner. Nearly half a million copies sold, and I'm not sure at what point they started counting that, but... Uh, this is one of the most widely recommended books you will hear mentioned in talking when talking to anyone who walks these paths. Countless thousands have come to understand and embrace the Lord and Lady through the words and wisdom revealed within the Celtic Connection. A positive practical introduction to Wicca designed so that any interested person can learn to practice alone anywhere in the world. The Enchanting News. Simple yet comprehensive introduction to the beliefs and rituals of Wicca. Scott Cunningham explains the philosophies, tenets, holidays, rituals in a way that everyone can understand and not be intimidated. United Pagan Ministries. And again, that's a good point. You don't feel intimidated like you would by, like, maybe Witchcraft Today or some of the other books that are like... You know, it's a very relatable book. Uh, so, and of course, he's written more than thirty books: Earth, Air, Fire, Water, Earth Power, Magical Aromatherapy. Okay, Magical Herbalism. And again, his focus is on herbalism. Living Wicca: A Further Guide for the Solitary Practitioner, which you will be getting review next. So, I, I love this book. <laughs> so, yes, a must, must, must. And I'm sure, especially here on this channel, you must own this thing already. So, preaching to the choir. So, <laughs> is that ironic here? I do not know. So, thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And bless in me. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>